morning Tobbers uh, it's just gone 7 o'clock in the morning at 5.15 I wasn't working this morning however at 5.20 I received a phone call woke me up out of my sleep which is never good to be woken up out of your sleep um, uh, apparently a driver had phoned in sick could I go in to this company that I'm at out of Nottingham today yeah no problem I hadn't got any work for the day so yeah I, I jumped on it work's been a bit funny recently As those of you who watch my channel know that I've been working at for driving for a company out of Tuxford I took a week's break from that to do other stuff um, what I'm doing now actually uh, trunking stuff and that's better uh, yeah to do some some trunking stuff and um, the trunking at this particular place in Melt Mary didn't work out because the hours um, it was ideally located for me but it, it, anyway it just didn't, didn't work however when I w went back to the agency Obviously, I don't, I don't know if something's happened between the agency and the client, but they're not supplying them with drivers anymore. So I'm uh, without that regular work, which was, for me, fairly local. I wouldn't say it's local, but it was convenient to get to because it's straight up the A1 for me. Um, so it, it only took me half an hour tops to get there. So, um, yeah, so that I'm not doing that now. And last week I only got one day's work, um, partially because I, I was ill and I didn't, and I was tired, so I needed the week off. So I didn't pursue anything, but I, I only got one day's work, which is coming up to Christmas. I got bills to pay, gotta work, work, work every day. So I need to get back to work. Um, I went and worked for a, a company out of Alfreton yesterday. Had a great day. Went up to Huddersfield, uh, Barnsley, and back back again. That was uh, trunking work. So yeah, everything went how it should have done yesterday. So today, like I say, at, um, I didn't know I was working at t till twenty past. Went, dragged my carcass out of bed went straight there and I'm in that lorry now and it is an Iveco and I've had this conversation with uh, one or two about Ivecos because I haven't driven them before before I've driven this one no I think I may, I may have driven one smaller wagon but um, I had a conversation with the hairy trucker about Ibico and he, I said, you know, they come across as a bit cheaper end of the market maybe. The plastics in them are not so good, the fit and finish is not so good. And he said, yeah, you're spot on, that's about right. That's, that sums Ibico up. So, case in point. That feels quality, don't it? I mean, look at the switch gear. None of it lines up. It's all flaking off. It just doesn't smack quality at all. And you may wonder what I'm doing here, sat with the hazard lights on. Well, I've come to this company to collect a load to take to Liverpool, Liverpool to Blackpool. Um, but I've come to this, come to put it into reverse to get on a bay on this this company, and I can't get it in reverse. Now it's a automatic gearbox. There we go. And normally, what happens with uh, automatic uh, gearbox, if you haven't if you haven't got the, uh, a lot of them have the what look like a control switch, and you see the reverse or or forward gears. That's it. Well, on this particular uh, this particular truck, you've got a little button 
just here which is your neutral button and then your shifter button which is there now on some of them you, you, you click it into reverse hold that in pull it back it'll go into reverse or some of them you have to pull both of them in pull it right back but that was on the semi-automatic trucks um, I've tried putting my foot on the brake put my foot on the brake hold the button in pull it back hold it for a few seconds but still nothing it's just not going into reverse and it might still turn out to be me being a bit ditzy but one of um, the other drivers from the firm is on site uh, drives an arctic and I said you just come have a look see if you can put this into reverse and he was sat in it for five minutes and he's an experienced driver couldn't get it into reverse so I, I feel a bit better the fact that somebody else can't get it in reverse the fit is coming out to me and he might literally say oh you've got to press that but I don't know I, I can't see what else to press I have no idea the lever doesn't press down it doesn't pull up there's no other switch there's nothing on the dashboard that says even the you can control the semi put it in semi-automatic and control it by this lever but I can't even get reversed that way there's no way I just can't get reversed so it could be a genuine fault but yeah so we'll, we'll see but <laughs> this Iveco you are not making your good first impressions with me and one thing and another um, I couldn't get the seat adjusted this morning it, it won't go up or down so I've had to put the I don't know if you can see the steering wheel it's quite far forward I mean it, I can drive and it's okay and it's perfectly safe it's just not as comfortable as you'd like when you're going on a long goal so that's another black mark against it the, the, the levers for the for the seats just don't work at all there's nothing there so yeah I'm you can slide the seat backwards and forwards which is I've had to slide it forwards to reach the pedal because I'm, I'm 5 foot 10 something like that 5 foot 11 so I'm not I'm, I'm not massively tall so I, I have to sit fairly close I guess but yeah so the steering wheel ran right forward so yeah we'll have to see what happens yeah, well, that's the Iveco. The other, other driver's gears in here, because I, I guess he intended on working until he phoned in sick. It's quite a high cab on this. So, yeah. I don't know, is this the fitter? No, it's not the fitter. I thought that would be quick. But yeah, yesterday it rained all bloody day and I got wet boots I'm, I'm gonna need some new boots I've decided them boots are rubbish because I think what it does it, it sucks up water the soles this part of them just worn away and a couple of the, the lumps and bumps and it sucks up water they're not they're not a solid uh, sole so I'm gonna need some new boots. I mean, an old pair of uh, catering shoes. I mean, they've got anti-slip, the steel toe cap, waterproof. Uh, and they're actually better to drive in them than other boots. I can feel the pedals better. But yeah. So, but yeah, it rained all day yesterday, and it really gets to you after a while. Just persistent. But it was a good day. Better than today, that's for sure. So, right, so if I do get on the road, I shall do a bit of field with this, going up to uh, to Blackpool. I might go on the big one for you. Is it still called the big one? It was the Pepsi Max. Then it was the big one. It might be renamed again, I, I don't know. I've not been to Blackpool for a long while. When I, I lived in the, um, the Caribbean, my girlfriend that was then... She's my wife now. 
she loves theme parks and because there's no theme parks well on the particular island we lived on uh, in fact there was not even a bowling alley on the island we lived on so and she loves theme parks so when we come home uh, for a visit she dragged us round we went to Thorpe Park uh, Drayton Manor American Adventure went, and when that tells you when it is American Adventure's closed now um, went to Alton Towers and Blackpool Pleasure Beach I, honestly I got so fed up with going to theme parks um, yeah and that's the last time I went on that I think it was called the big one back then so yeah I'll take you right on the big one right catch you later bye bye Okay, here's the story. Um, I sat waiting for the fitter. Meanwhile, another one of this firm's wagons pulled up to me. He said, just call me. He said, um, you having a problem with the gears? I said, I'm having a problem putting it in reverse. I said, I don't know if there's a button I'm supposed to press, a switch or something. I said, but one of your other lads looked in it and he couldn't get it into reverse either experienced driver he said, oh, 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 oh that's that then I said but come and have a look and he seemed to be reluctant I said no I, mean, I might be doing something wrong um, I said y you give it a go so he jumped up he spent about 30 seconds in here and he showed me something which is just here there's a collar and to get it into reverse you have to pull that collar up, then pull it back. Well, nobody told me that. One minute. You right there? Oh, yeah. Hello. Hey, please Next to Maria's desk. You up and running now? Turns out there's a collar on the gear stick, look. Oh, right. You pull that up, pull it back. See that, look? Yeah. Pull that up, then pull it all, all back. And, and it goes into reverse. A little bit of knowledge. Yeah, so this is what people complain about. Like, they go in and jump from truck to truck. They do, yeah. But, does, have, you, have you been trained on this truck? And it sounds pathetic to no. say that. And do you know what? I've been driving since, since July. Mm. And I've come across all sorts of gearboxes. And everybody told me when I got into this, oh, everything's automatic now. Well, they're not. I'm, no, they've I'm, still got manuals or semis. Yeah, semis or four over fours or, or you know, range splitters, all that. Yeah. Just, there's so many different gearboxes. Exactly. And the ones I've driven with a gear stick like this, you hold both the neutral button in it and that button yeah. and pull it back and it goes into reverse. Yeah, that's how like the works. You just uh, bang the neutral, uh, the neutral button so it just... And then you just pull it back yeah. and leave it. I mean, there's, yeah. there's ones, the, the, the automatics now, they look like heater controls. Yeah. <laughs> you just click it over into neutral, that's yeah, it. Exactly. You know? Right, then let's go and get your paperwork set up and. Okay, you know. Um, you've got all that in glasses, haven't you? Uh, uh, 